Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, on va dessiner, draw, un monstre. To do this, you're going to be using a lot of the structures that we've learned before. Il est grand ou il a cinq yeux, etc. Um, there is one that we have not done before that I'm going to show you now. En forme de. Est-ce que le monstre est en forme de ovale? Est-ce qu'il est en forme de rectangle? Oops, rectangle. Carré, cercle, en forme de, in the form or shape of. And then these that you see, these are just des guillemets, they're French uh, quotation marks. Donc, en forme de is going to determine uh, the shape of our monstre. The rest you know, but I want to um, go over a couple of body parts. So I'm going to use that intro that I always use for um, your various uh, movements that you do. Les gestes TPR. So I'll say la classe and then whatever. La classe touche la tête. La classe touche les cheveux. La classe touche le bras. La classe touche la jambe. La classe touche les yeux. Not really though, because that would hurt. Uh, and then one other body part that we're going to talk about that we have not really learned yet, although you might have heard it before, is la bouche, mouth mouth. Donc, la tête, les cheveux, les yeux, la bouche, les bras, les jambes, et c'est tout. That's all we need to know. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to get out a piece of paper, and if you have colored pencils, that would be preferable. Um, if you want to do this on some kind of a computer program where you're able to draw, that's fine too. Um, that would give you more options for colors. So gather your materials. Okay, now I'm going to read the story and what I need you to do is listen for different um, characteristics of the monster and you're going to draw the monster according to those characteristics. Il y a un grand monstre vert, un grand monstre vert, qui s'appelle ham, like the lunch meat, ham. Ham est en forme de Cercle. Ham est en forme de cercle. Il a deux bras et trois jambes. You're going to need to pause this to do the drawing, or you can just jot it down and do the whole drawing afterward. It's up to you, but I don't expect you to draw as quickly as I'm speaking. So just to repeat that last sentence. Il a deux bras et trois jambes. Il a les cheveux blonds et les yeux rouges. Ham a un animal de compagnie. Il a un tigre. Ham n'est pas sympa. Il est méchant. Il aime dessiner et jouer de la guitare. Mais il n'aime pas chanter. Okay, so of all of the details that I just gave you, you're going to point out um, dix. So you could use his name at the top. That counts. Um, but what I want you to do is also label it with the French sentence or phrase that 
prompted you to draw what you were what you're pointing to. So if, par exemple, you draw les yeux rouges, then you can make a little line and write les yeux rouges. Or you could write the whole sentence, il a les yeux rouges. Um, if you use the name, just also use the expression that you heard in front of his name. Il s'appelle, le monstre s'appelle ham, and that counts. So, dix détails, it could be he has a certain number of limbs, uh, hair color, eye color, um, what he likes to do, what he doesn't like to do. Just depict it and label it en français. And then you're going to take a picture and you're going to uh, submit it with this assignment. Um, there was another thing I wanted to mention. Oh, it's escaping me now. Okay, so draw your monstre. Make sure that you turn it into me. And if I remember what it was I needed to tell you, then I will let you know on Schoology or in an email. Okay, merci. Au revoir.